Hi Laura, follow on from yesterday. I just wanted to go through the points that I was making regarding print settings. So I'm using Word, the same as what you're using, and I've imported an image. So I would just go in and go File, Print, and I'm selecting my printer because I've got more than one printer. Now in this box, you would have TS705. And at this point, you go to Printer Properties. Now, when we were talking about properties and preferences, I was talking about when you right click on the printer. But let's move on. So you would open this dialog box the minute you open the properties box. And what you're looking to do is to change your media type to photo papers. And you're looking for matte photo paper and you're now, you can use either of these. You should get a great print on standard, but you will get a superb print if you select it on high. But they're the two most important settings that you have. Now, I'm just going to quickly run through some tabs at the top here to show you what they are. Main print quality, as you can see, we've got it set to high. So I would ignore that. This is a summary. So you've got matte photo paper. Now, with your printer, you need to look at paper source. You should be printing from the rear tray. As you know, you also have a front tray on the TS705. Then page setup. Don't even need to go here, but, you know, you've got portrait or landscape. Follow it through. You'll work it through. Maintenance. Just some of the maintenance settings that you can use. Clean, deep clean, various other things, other bits and pieces. So that's how we would set it up to go. It's those two important settings is paper type, which is matte coated, and your quality. Play around with it and see where you get to. Now, the, we would when I was talking, I was talking about right-clicking on the printer, like, i.e., finding your printer here from your list, devices, and you don't need to do this. I just want to explain where the confusion was. And you're selecting your printer here. And you can see you've got printing preferences and you've got printer properties. That's how I would have got to this menu. So I hope that clears up the confusion. Thanks.